video segment, we're going to talk about the Google Chrome browser. When you're working with a Chromebook, that is the browser that you'll have access to. You can also use Google Chrome on any computer, at home, in the library, MacBook, iPad. It, it is uh, standard now on a lot of different devices. And when we're looking at Google Chrome, you'll notice that when you see the icon in the bottom left-hand corner of the Chromebook, you'll just click on that and open up the Google browser. On the Chromebook, I'm automatically logged into my Google account, and I'm automatically logged into the Chrome browser. It's one of the nice things about the Chromebook. When we're getting ready to do some research, we might want to uh, use Google search engine. Or I can go to the little tab right beside it and click on that to add a new tab. And we might want to do some research about space and go to the NASA site. And using that little tab again, we might also want to go to the Canyon ISD site and look at some information our teacher might have posted there for us. So we can have all three tabs open at the same time. And we can click and drag and rearrange them in any order that we would like. One of the best things, too, is that we can create a shortcut or a bookmark to any site that we're going to go to frequently. So if we're doing research this week on space and I know I'm going to need to come back and go to the NASA site a lot, I might grab the little image right before the web address and click and drag and drag it down to the bookmarks bar. I might also want to do the same thing uh, for the Google site because I might want to go back and forth to Google a lot to be able to research. So I'm going to take the little lock right here in front of the Google uh, web address and drag it and drop it down onto the toolbar. So I can go back and forth easily to the sites without having to remember a long address. You might consider doing that for the link that your teacher will give you to your new science materials or to a website that she wants you to frequent um, a lot. So when we get ready then to look at maybe comparing some information at the Google search and a NASA page, you might want to see them side by side. You can actually take the tab and drag it off of the main uh, Chrome. And when you do, you can minimize right next to the close out X. And when you have that, you could actually look at whatever you find on the Google page and the NASA page side by side. You can take that tab and click and drag and put it right back up and restore that easily. Now, when we're talking about um, this bookmark bar, you might decide we're through with science research and we don't want that bar uh, to have the NASA link any longer. And to remove it, you can right click on the NASA and go down and delete it. On a Chromebook, a right click is a little bit different. And if you'll look at the keyboard on the Chromebook, there is an Alt key right next to the space bar. And you'll hold uh, the mouse over what you want to delete. And you'll hold the Alt key and then click once on the mouse pad. And you'll have a drop down menu. Another one that I really think is neat is if you have the mouse where you want to have the menu pop up and you do a two finger tap on the mouse pad. So you take two fingers tap the mouse pad, then you'll get a right click menu that'll pop up. I like that, it's easy, and we can go in and uh, delete the toolbar at that time. If we were in NASA on a Chromebook and we're looking and we're taking our scroll bar and we're pulling down with our mouse and we're looking, that's one way uh, to, to do that in Google Chrome. But on a Chromebook, you can actually take two fingers and uh, drag across the mouse pad at the same time and go up and down the page without having to use the scroll bar. It's a really neat shortcut um, that I enjoy using. So we can close out these tabs at any time and still have uh, Google open. And when we get ready to uh, use Chrome at, um, at home, anything that we've added to the Chrome a bookmark bar here at school would actually follow us at home if we were to log, in, log into Chrome at home. It might ask you if you would like to link the data when you go to your Chrome at home, and you can say yes. And anything that you have access to at home, you could have access to at school. Now, one thing I want to caution you about is when you log out of the Chromebook, it automatically logs you out of Google Chrome and Google. But when you are working at a computer in the library or at home or another public computer somewhere, you'll want to be sure and sign out 
of your Google account and also sign out of your Chrome. And to sign out, you'll go to the little hamburger menu, down to settings, and then you will delete the user. You can't do this on a Chromebook, but when you're uh, out on a public computer, that would be something that you'll want to do. We hope you get started using Chrome for research and, and to better access your information, and we'll be sharing more tools with you soon. Thank you.